federal policy think tank Niti Aayog proposes tax on farm income. What is agricultural income? Will it be taxed in India? Has the time come to tax agricultural income in India? If so why? What are the positive aspects of taxing agricultural income? What are the challenges in taxing the agricultural income? GS Paper 3 Indian Economy Resource Mobilization What is the context about? Niti Aayog has proposed bringing agricultural income within the personal income tax net to broaden the tax base and thereby enable the government to reduce the tax rate. Agricultural income accounts for about 15% of India's $2.2 trillion gross domestic product. Excluding income from farming out of the tax net forces the government to keep personal income tax rate high. Besides, Taxing farm income above a threshold will also prevent evasion of taxes misusing the exemption given to farm income. What is agricultural income? Will it be taxed in India? Agricultural income in India is defined as any rent received from land which is used for agricultural purposes. Income obtained from a farmhouse which is in proximity to the land you own. The income obtained from sale of replanted trees and growing flowers and creepers. Income obtained from the sale of seeds. The profits received from your partner who is engaged in agricultural produce or activities. Income earned from nursery operations such as selling of plants and flowers. Will it be taxed in India? The income earned from agricultural land is exempt from taxes under Section 10.1 of the Income Tax Act 1961. Agricultural income is computed in the same manner as business income. If the income you earn is only from agriculture then it is fully tax exempt. If you have agricultural income along with other sources of income you would have to pay income tax on these other sources of income. Has the time come to tax agricultural income in India? If so why? Obviously this not the right time to tax agricultural income. Agricultural income is highly unstable as it depends mainly monsoons, proper market availability, and other climate disasters like hailstorm etc. Presently it is unclear that on what basis threshold income will be decided. In many villages, land is tilled by a joint family involving many stakeholders. This system will be affected and may lead to division of lands to small farms making them less productive. While the number of farmers committing suicide is on the rise, this will add more to the agony. Non-agricultural sources of income are still not so prevalent in rural areas. This will hit the livelihood of rural population. What are the positive aspects of taxing agricultural income? It would widen the tax base, thereby increasing the revenue for the government. Government can divert the increased revenue towards the welfare schemes for vulnerable sections of population. The tax would ensure that all farmers get equal opportunity by collecting taxes from rich farmers and giving social security schemes to poor farmers. With a tax net on agriculture, people will shift to the industrial sector. What are the challenges in taxing the agricultural income? The biggest hurdle in including the agricultural farmers into tax base would be devising a methodology to find the prospective farmers who can pay taxes. Such a decision might avoid the present big agricultural farmers from investing in agriculture on a huge scale due to the tax that can be imposed on their returns jeopardizing the food security in the process. This will leave farmer with low income in hand. 
this will go hurt the proposed goal of doubling the farm income by 2022. The capacity to pay back debts will reduce, this becomes especially a problem given the lack of access to formal capital because of poor financial inclusion.